day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the videos we put out on the 7th of June. We did the, uh, we did A, B, C, this is D. And I really hope that you enjoyed it. We've been talking about the fact that Black Lives Matter. We talked about the fact of the protests and the lack of fact is that uh, all that looting and, and, and burning and all that has, has ceased. And now we're seeing mostly peaceful protests. I love the fact is that even adjusted, the fact is that the people who committed it have been arrested. All four of them have been arrested. And the fact is that the, the, the name of the person is, 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 is being mentioned throughout the world because we all saw hate or indifference, or negligence, or fear. I don't know. Revenge. I don't know what we saw, uh, but I know the results of it. And so we talked about the 7th of June, the, the, the fact is that we really have to learn to operate in love. We really do. God wants us to do that. And I, and I said in the last video, it said is that if, if we don't operate in love, we operate God, we're nothing in the eyes of God. And being silent is saying nothing. It means nothing. People want to hear. People want to hear not to say that, hey, those are thugs. You know, I mean, there's a video that come out there said, thug means the hate you give. It's time for us as Christians, as believers, because everybody to listen to this video, and maybe it's going to be somebody but don't listen to the video, that, or listen to the video but not a believer. Well, I'm talking about us believers. We operate in love. We operate in the fact that God loves us and he wants us to do the right thing. So I want us to do the right thing. Let's not to do the right thing. We did in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13. Uh, this is 6 through 13. It says, rejoice not in equity, but rejoice in truth, in the truth. Bears all things, believe this all things, hope all things, endure all things. Charity never faileth, love never faileth. But whether there be prophecy, they shall fall. Whether there be tongues, they shall see. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, and I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put childish things away. But now we see through the, a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I have known. And now by this faith, hope, charity, <clears throat> these three, but the greatest of these is charity. And charity also translates as love. It's time for us to put childish things away and operate as men and women, loving one another. In other words, it's all right to say in protest, it's how we do it. Do we do it in love or we do it in hate? If we do it in hate, it comes to nothing. If we do it in love, it changes the world. Hey, I like that. It changes the world. And that's what God is looking for us to do, learn. To, 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 to give God the glory because God is the one who is changing the world through Jesus Christ and we are the body of Christ. We represent Christ. If we, police officers, if you're sitting there operating in fear, you're not operating in faith. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith for we walk by faith, not by sight. We can't go by what we perceive, but we gotta go by what God wants us to be. You are ministers operate that way and we we need to not be what we we got to doubt ourselves too we got to learn to give our flesh up and learn to love one another amen hey this has been a great study and i really do encourage you to come back and 
and we'll wrap that up, this video up. But man, I tell you, all lives matter. God loves us all. Amen? All right. I hope to see you in the next part of the video. And uh, stay blessed and stay safe. Amen. God bless. Bye-bye. There's more Amen. impact. Yeah, I um, I'm listening to all of this, and I guess I would say this, because, again, you know, the word says, "Be not deceived." And even in a situation like this, where her peace seems to be getting the upper hand, if we aren't going to the Lord, if we aren't going to Jesus, just because there's peace doesn't make it right. Amen. Um, because that in and of itself we would think that okay because we have done this you know pride takes over the humility that should be there takes over the lack of love uh takes over and then this thing transforms into something else you know we we uh we study we've been studying revelation you know it, you know back and, and and i always wonder how is all of this going to manifest itself because the thing is is uh it, Again, the word keeps saying, be not deceived, be not deceived, be not deceived. So what is happening naturally that seems to be so right, but really is so wrong? So, you know, for me, I appreciate the fact that things have seemed to calm a little bit and all of that good stuff. But, you know, my thing is, so where is the word in all of this? I, I, I don't see that prevailing message. And that is what bothers me. Uh, to be honest with you, it's great that uh, there's there's calm. It's there's it's, it's great that 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 you know destruction is not happening. But again, if the word of God is not in the mix, if the spirit, if, if people aren't waking up and praying first, then we still don't have it right. Does that make sense? It does. It does. Do you think that the uh, some of the taking of the knee, the uh, the funeral services? Some of the churches, even the, the when when Trump tried to go before the that church, you heard the, the the bishop for that ministry speak up, right? Right. And there's a lot of things going out in those protests. If you look at them, you know I'm talking about they're still peaceful, but you see some people doing dancing. There's people talking. Uh, and there's people from the church that's out there too. There, there's people. I don't think the word is not being mentioned out there but here but here's what brother jackson trying to get at here we still ain't heard all the big people come up and say anything nobody has taken an official stand on anything all them tbn y'all know where i'm going with this they ain't said nothing the mega church guys ain't did nothing I heard from roger goodale we heard from Roger Goodale. Oh, oh well, I'm, I'm sorry. The, 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 hey, hey, the, the mega church on Sunday? Yes, he, he has. He has spoken. Wow. And we'll all be there, you know, bowing to the doggone big, the big Super Bowl. Yes, like, like you said, he understands where his money is. Economics. He understands where his money is. Wow. Just because it's good, just because it's good, don't make it God. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Now I do. I, I do know that I, I have. I don't mean. I, I may. Maybe. Maybe it's not being missed some time in the in the uh, in media, but I do hear them talking on the uh, on the um, on like Zoom on their services. They they're talk. Well, at least the ones I'm talking recently. T.D. Jake was talking to one of the other church members, uh, big preacher, and they were talking. And discussing this thing, I, 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 I hear you saying, Chris, because it's not at the stage, world stage level that they're addressing, it, right? That, that what you mean? Well, they have the resources to, 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 to go to these areas where these, 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 these people are there. I mean, they got their own planes. They have, they have whatever is needed. Go to these places and speak to these equipment. They have everything that's needed, you know, and yet they're hoarding over this stuff and they're not putting it to use. They're not mobilizing. Yeah. And that's what we need to do. I, I mean, hear that. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. sit here and you can uh you 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 can get on, on Zoom or any you know these other platforms and just speak to your congregation. Yeah. But your congregation aren't out there. You know, yeah. it's, 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 how are you reaching the law 
cost by just communicating to your congregation when you treat to, to get to these masses no different than jesus he went to them yeah y'all yeah, must be forgetting once, that once, then they came to him once 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 they saw you know the the the, the his heart and his purpose yeah. are y'all discounting and forgetting or did not see that al sharpton showed up and preached the funeral yeah, but he didn't preach Christ, though. Man, that dude only shows up for stuff. Like he, he, he didn't preach Christ. You know, it, it's, it's very disappointing <laughs> to see Al Sharpton and uh, Jesse Jackson show up only after, you know, the people have already band together. And then they try and be the focal point. They try and take the head position, you know, and I, it, it blows me my mind how, my how question is my the, question is the how much did they have to pay him for him to show up them? Hmm. yeah yeah that is who, who paid for who paid for his trap travel arrangement who yeah. paid for his lodging you know because that's when he shows up and i you know i don't i to be honest to be perfectly honest i don't know that for sure i'm yeah, not yeah. here and i'm not with and I and I'm not one to do it, but I tell you what, it is it's time for them to uh, take a backseat. Yeah, you know, if if they're not training some of these people who are young and who can actually relate to these folks, you know, then they're missing the mark. Because though I love children's ministry. I feel that I, my, my time to go in front of children and be able to influence, I'm talking about like teens, and influence right. them better than someone their age can influence them. Yeah. And that, that's my point. They're, 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 I just think that they're, uh, they're trying to hold on to something that, 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 that's not required of them. And yeah. And you know, you know it, 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 what, what, what I think it's, from, I think it's uh, uh, when we turn away from from some hooking people up to Christ, then we miss the mark as yeah. a body of Christ. Yeah, uh, civil but, issues are not, and I get caught up in this. Civil issues are not the, the point for us. Yeah. I look at the way Jesus did things. He really didn't spend too much time talking about the the the, the, the fallacies of the Roman government or the, or, the, or the horrendous way that they were treating the populace. Yeah. especially the jews he didn't talk about that he yeah. talked about the individual hearts of each each person and the Ooh. thing that i have i, I think about with us because i'm still kind of bigoted a little bit black folk want to go to everybody to get help except god and the reason i think we refrain from going there is because we don't want to do what he asked us to do he said if you abide in me and my word abide in you and whatsoever you ask my name i do it and i keep getting this what we call victim focus back in in, in, in the day was that I keep seeing us slipping away from him and all hell breaking loose on us. Mm. And I think when I look at us as a people, that's what I see. Yes. Is that there was a tremendous amount of headway that was made at one point, but we were focusing on Christ at that point. We seemed to be anyway as a people. Yeah. But as soon as we got our, our freedoms, we started going headlong into every other direction. We went after the God of the Babylonians. We went, we went to uh, Islam. We went everywhere. And as soon as we did that, we started falling by the wayside. But not only did we start falling by the hands of our white brothers, we fell by our own hands. And we still are. They're still killing more people and making they reported have been killed across the United States by cops. So I think for me, which is against my own grain, the focus has to become how do we teach these kids to align themselves with the Lord? Because eventually that's going to be the whole issue. Like like Jim was saying earlier, we need to hear from God. Every individual needs to hear from God, and we need to teach him how to do it. Because yeah. in the age to come, it said that he would rule the nation with a rod of iron. Yeah. What does that mean? Is that sound like violence to me? Yeah. But is that, is that what he's calling us to do in this age becomes the question. We're well, not yeah, coming to the end of the age of the, of the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So we are operating on a certain guise right now, a certain over, overarching uh, uh, ideology given to us by the Lord. We have to work, work within the framework of that. 
when this is over, we go to another uh, another mode of operation. I don't know what it's like to be ruled by a rod of iron. I don't know what we're going to be doing at that point. We might be kicking butts and taking names at that point, you know? Yeah, I ain't planning on being on the other, on the other end of being ruled. I mean, to be but, ruling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but, so, but before so we're going to have to hear from him midway. Yes, sir. But but I was I was I was down a little bit when Chris was talking about these people with the platforms to be able to speak. Uh, uh, cause cause I was like, you're right. They're they're not out there as resonating the message, endorsing the 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 Black Lives Matter. You're right. I don't, they're not there, Chris. Like talking about, they're not as visible. And maybe that's part of that parent. But I do have to ask this question then. Maybe that's part of the paradigm shift. You now, know, that was, that's not, I'm glad you said that because that was one of the things I sat there. As I'm saying that, I thought about it. And in a way, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. because like you said, that is part of the paradigm shift. shift. But the young kids are trying, like you say, why? Why did Jesse show up? Why did they show? Up? We did. They did. These young kids don't need them. Right. They don't need them. They understand, or whatever is pushing them forward, has said, "We're we ain't like they start off. We're not going to sit down and protest the way you did." Yes, sir. It, like you said, there's another paradigm shift, and like yeah. you said, this is the changing of the guard right here. It Something is. a seminal moment has happened. They ain't going back. This ain't going to be one of them. Because here's what the establishment is going to do after everything get calmed down. Like you said, you know, I'm going to come in there, I'm going to up, up with hope, down with dope speech, do all that there, and we all going to go sit back down, get pacified, and basically calm the savage beast, and then we're going to just let everything ride the way it is. These kids ain't going to do that this time. Exactly. Well, I, yeah. have, I have well, you know what? kids. It's not... Things have changed. Yes, sir. I think that I think that it's really time for us to really hear from God. No, because we no, because we because we got all these people that are saying this is God is saying for uh, to us right now. That's the same thing they used to endorse slavery and to keep us under. And the quote unquote, this is what God was telling them that we needed to hear. And now you got, you got, and I'm not, I'm not going to call no names, but all these different people coming in saying, this is what God would have us to do. This is what God's saying we need to do. Well, I, you've been saying that for 400 years. So uh, based on the results, I don't think that's what God was saying. So <laughs> now who do I trust that this is what God is saying? Right. I need to hear, from, I need to hear from God yes, and so. not you. Because Woo. to me, it seems like a lot of you yes, is sir. for your own agenda. And you ain't heard nothing from God. But that's the way you, and I believe in my heart, and I've always said this, to take the Lord's name in vain Woo. is not saying God damn or something like that. It's to take the endorsement of God Woo. and use that as, as, as authorization for the position that you've taken now so yeah. that you can govern my behavior. Yeah, I think that's it. taking the Lord's name in vain yeah. by yeah. using his endorsement on something yeah. for your benefit Woo. that never came from God. And Come so on. now we're in, a, we're in a place where we need to be able to distinguish Woo. is that what God is saying to us? Come on. Or is that what you're saying to us Woo. so that we'll conform because you know we have a heart after God. And so because you say it was God, you knowing that we'll conform to that, but is that really what God has said? Right. You know, Jimmy, I, I think that that's been the issue the whole time. Absolutely. I, I think even from the beginning, from the time that Jesus stuck foot on this planet and was crucified and left, that's what he came for, for us to be able to go directly to the Lord ourselves and get the information. Absolutely. So the ministers of God, we are supposed to teach people how to talk to God. Yes. How to connect with him. Right. Because I, I can't. I mean, that's like a repair, telephone repair, installing your phone and then stand there and tell you what the people are saying on it. Hey, you got to do that. Come Jesus on. came down here to each one of the cells and the members of the body of Christ can hear from God himself. Yes. And, and, and what we have done is that. I think somebody mentioned something about establishing the, 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 the hierarchy again, and then I got to go to this person to hear from God. That's a lot from the pit of hell. But we were taught that. When we were yeah. taught to follow leadership, we were taught to follow the man that was sitting at the, at the pulpit in the pulpit of that church. 
Exactly. That's what teaching this the final leadership was. But he and she, he and everybody else that was involved in that process should have been teaching us to follow God. You need to hear God's voice. The word says, my sheep hear my voice and another they will not follow. Come on, brother. Come on. Hey, and that's what we got to teach these little kids. We got to teach these kids. Man, y'all need to hear from God. I mean, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm in. This is what I think. But what was he telling you? And I think so, Chris. Those signs that people saying, you see those signs in the, in the protest about silent, silent white is, is, is endorsing the, the bad behavior. By, mm -hmm. them not, by us not hearing from them, I think they, mm -hmm. those young people are talking to them because you're yes. being silent. And yes. I think that when it's all said and done, they're going to say, where were you? you. Yes. Where yes. were you? Yes. Were you on the front line? Were you out there? Did you protest? Did you speak out? So mm -hmm. I think I think I think I agree with you because I further can I fell down a little bit because I was you're right yeah I don't, we don't hear that from them. Mm -hmm. uh, but the reality that's probably a good thing because we need to hear from God, you know. Uh, hear and, you. And, and the thing hear about you. the en and enemy, the enemy is very go after those those speaking heads anyway, Chris. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they, you know, Martin Luther King. Okay, we we identified a. But right now, who's organizing all these things, y'all? You don't know. Come on, you don't know. <laughs> you be young, and, that, and, that, and that's the, and that is the beauty of this. That Ain't is the beauty don't. of this. Come on, brother. That's because you're talking about a protest been going over how many days now? Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Today's day thirteen. Thirteen. Yes, sir. Who's doing all? Who's sending out publicity and all that stuff? Is that beat here and all that? It's just happening. It's, it, hey, word of mouth. Word Come on, of mouth. brother. Yeah, they got the social media and stuff too. Though. Social media, exactly. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. but like I said, there's no visible one. By fact, God probably said, "This is I. I am over this." <laughs> yes. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Are you, come on after me. You can't come on. Me. Come on. Other words, there's a movement. There's a thing happening. That paradigm is taking place. <laughs> yes, sir. People That's kind of funny. So let me close the church down so they don't listen to that guy no more. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> be on, they can listen to me now. <laughs> I, hey, I was getting ready to say something like that, but hey, because hey, like you said, the reason they ain't said nothing is because God ain't talking to them. Yeah, Woo! amen, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Wow. He wow. Them. <laughs> wow. He just indicted them because I remember. I think Trump said earlier that, uh, this week he said uh, Billy Graham's son or something, uh, yeah, and, and agreed with him. And and you know, say about what is his name? It's, it's Graham something, whatever his name is, but his last mm -hmm. name is Graham. His son from Billy Graham. He didn't come out and say nothing. You know, the man used his name. I don't think oh, that yeah. man said nothing to him. But mm -hmm. if he did, he hasn't come up to respond, right? Yes. But like you say, if if you like you say, if you, you either uh, you either with me or you complicit, <laughs> and that means you're just as guilty. Yes, sir. Wow. And then wow. you're in the back. If you hard in the back, that guy, man, man, sometimes you a lot. They would totally lose credibility if they were there. Say like, well, we agree with him. <laughs> And then he gonna lie about something else. <laughs> it was either back in slavery for the church to be silent or to endorse it, opposed to standing up for what's right. Now, yep. there were churches that did stand up, the Quakers and so forth. There were people that stood up. The abolitionists, they were they were Christian people that stood up. But like yep. you said, the, the ones who didn't, they were just, they were in agreement by being silent. They were profiting from it. Yes, sir. You go and wipe all the Native Americans out, they build a church. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Hey, Elder, the hey, 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 Elder, read this last part of the chapter so we can get this in, all right? All right. I don't have it online. I got it. I'm putting it up there now. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. In truth. 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 Yes, sir. But they ain't talking about our president either. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hope all things. I'm sorry, you can't edit it. Endureth all things. <laughs> Charity never faileth, but whatever, wherever there's prophecies, they shall fail. 
Whether uh -huh. there be tongues, they shall cease. Yes, Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Woo. But we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, I spake as a child. Come on. I understood as a child. Yes, sir. I as a child. Uh -huh. But when I became a man, I Woo. put away childish things. Come on, brother. But now we see through a glass darkly, but uh -huh. then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now by the faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. Is charity. And I, and yes, I, like, the, I like the part about the fact is that the knowledge fades away, <clears throat> right? Yep. And, and, and all those other things, but love is the one that endures all Never things. Ever. It has, it that has the, it's, it's enduring, you know? In, in reality, the Bible said God is love. Yeah, that's right. You you know, that, that, that scripture levels the playing field. Yes, sir. That scripture levels the playing field because you don't have to be a genius to love somebody. Come on, brother. If you know, oh. if you love the Lord, man, them old mothers knew God. And I know them old mammies we used to talk about real bad, love them white folk. And they <laughs> did. <laughs> and they really did. And we thought that was a bad thing. Right. But as we get more knowledge of God, who he is and how he works, how he functions, we realize that what they had was power over them people. God put yeah. them in positions of power because they loved them. They could influence them. Yes, sir. And a lot of those people outlived them. Those those those, those slaves or those those old mothers and old uh what we call them Uncle Tom's or whatever was around to bury them people, man. So God blessed them through them folks because they were there <laughs> having to them. Yes, sir. As we get older in this thing and we stop, we can get past the hurt and the embarrassment of slavery. Uh -huh. I believe God is poisoning us to receive leadership in this nation. I, really I think do. so too. I, I think really so think. too. You know what? You the know, world I, rejoiced when Barack Hussein Obama became president. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I think, and, and Bishop may be in town on this, is that the, the scriptures I had after this, we already know about them, is in Numbers 14. It, it was 13 is when they were supposed to went into the promised land. The spies went into the promised land. And you know, the spies came back with an evil report. They confirmed that it flowed with milk and honey. But 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 they said there's giants in the land. And I'm saying is that those of us, especially we're talking about Black Lives Matter, let's talk about blacks coming out of 400 years of slavery. Going into the promised land is understand there's giants in the land. But you got to understand the difference between going in with God you instead of going in on yourself. Amen. We're no Amen. longer supposed to walk as victims, but that's what we have been taught. A lot of us have been taught to be victims. And, and and we're looking for the man hand instead of God's about. hand. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Come on, brother. It, it, we're top of the food chain and we don't know it. <laughs> you, 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 you got, because you got his back. That's why I say it's so important, Chris, do it God's way. God got, we look at the wrong people for the answers. We're looking for the wrong people for love. <laughs> if, as long as we keep looking for the wrong people to get the, the uh, what you call it, the endorsement, the approval, then we're going to constantly get what we get. You know what? I, I agree 100% yeah. that we got to do it God's way, period. 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 Mm -hmm. Period. We got to do it God's way. But in this time and situation, with what's going on right now, who can, uh, who can uh, conclusively say this is what God would have us to do right now? Because, you, you know, let's just take this thing as you, an analogy. You can do that. You can let's do just that. take this. Well, let me just take a look at this. Let's take this thing as an analogy. This guy had his knee on this man's neck. And at the hands of that, nonchalantly, cavalier, hands in his pocket, killed this man. Now, it's some people that'll say, if some kind of way he was able to get unhandcuffed and threw this man off of him and violently attacked this man for what he was done, well, what he done, some people say, well, he didn't have to do all that. That was ungodly for him to react in, in violence against the violence. He should have just laid there and prayed. Some people would say, well, that was a godly way. Some people would say that he acted violently and got him off his neck was ungodly. But I don't know. 
what is what position is right. What position is right? He needed to hear from God yes. to know what God would have him to do at that particular time for right. that particular situation. The same thing we need to do because I believe 100% we need to do it the way that God would direct us to do it right now. Right. My, right. Only my only question is, what is God telling us right now? Hey, Brother right. Jimmy. <laughs>